Hello everyone, and today we're going to be looking at Paper Pal, which is a great AI tool that will help enhance your writing, and it has a number of really interesting features that will really support you when you're writing. So the first thing that you need to do is go to paperpal.com and it will ask you to log in. And once you've logged in, it will take you to the home page and you will have two options. You can either upload a new web document or you can install the Microsoft Word add-in and then use PaperPal features within Microsoft Word. For today, we're just going to be using the new web document. So if we click on that, it will open a new document for us and you'll see that it will give us an option to start writing. And they have an amazing feature, which is the Copilot. And with the Copilot, you can either use it to rewrite and paraphrase the actual writing that you have, it will sound a bit more academic, or you can ask it to generate. So if we start looking at the generate options, we can see that it will let us create an outline, uh, a title for the essay that we're writing, an abstract, keywords, summary, and so on. So if we start off with the outline, we can ask it to uh, create an outline for an essay that we're writing. So if I'm looking at, for example, the impact of digital games in higher education, I can ask it to generate an outline for that. Okay, and you can see that it's actually generated quite um, a detailed um, outline for me. So if I just insert that, we can have a good look at it. You'll see it has an introduction, definition, the brief uh, history of digital games, their importance, and then the advantages of using digital games in higher education, um, and sub points as well, examples of successful implementation. So if you wanted to, you could use the outline feature to just spark a few ideas and to uh, help you begin your essay writing. However, I'd really recommend to do a lot of research um, and extract sources from different places, um, as this could be quite generic. Um, but what PaperPal is really useful in is for actually paraphrasing and for helping support our writing. So if I'm just going to start by um, pasting in a section that I've already written, and what we'll do is we'll look at how it can help us to actually improve the section. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this feather icon and we're going to click on it, which is the language section. And we'll notice that it will start correcting the different areas that it feels could be improved. And you'll find that these are underlined with the red lines and they have the corresponding reason for why it's been underlined um, on the right hand side. You can see it's picked up on 10 sentences that it's ready for review and um, it basically tells us there are 10 main areas that we need to be looking at in order to correct. So if we look at the first suggestion, um, here it's indicated that it doesn't like the word developing, um, and it says instead um, that we should change it in the nature of online learning fueled by the development of information. And I think this is actually a good suggestion, so I'm going to change that. And we can go start going through the rest of the text. So the next one is prioritized, and it's just here's picked up on the American um, spelling, which is using the Z instead of the S. So I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to keep that as it is because I'm a British paper. So I can just carry on. And the next part here, it recommends that in light of this backdrop, I begin. So just re re removes the additional word that really doesn't need to be there. So again, I'll accept that. So ranging from here, it's recommended that online learning has been associated with many terms including e-learning so instead of ranging from just uh to including and also computer assisted it's added a hyphen in between the words which is right so i'm going to accept all and then here's it's mentioned that these numerous terminologies and it just says that this is redundant we shouldn't have this so we will accept that as well their essence these terms attempt to invoke the notion the student uses and it's actually taken this whole sentence and what it's done is it's corrected it completely so it says in essence, these terms attempt to invoke the notion that students use some kind of technology. And that sounds so much better. So again, accept all here. What has it said? Use of internet and the internet straight away. So instead of use of the internet to enhance interaction between students and teachers. So what did I have first between student and teacher? Okay, so between students and teachers. 
and it's just add an S here to interaction. So we've looked at that entire paragraph and just for the sake of comparison, what we'll do now is we're gonna to go to Grammarly and what I've done is I've pasted the exact same section here in Grammarly it's just to give us um, some kind of comparison in terms of which tool is really uh, better or picks up on more language mistakes, uh, PaperPal or Grammarly. So what I found here is that if we look at Grammarly, it's made 15 suggestions. Some of them are actually repeated, but we can go through them quickly again. Here it's mentioned that it doesn't like in the nature of, um, and it suggests that I use like. I'm not gonna accept that. I think let's just keep it a little bit more formal so we can keep that. So developing here instead of using the development like we used in PaperPal, it's just suggested that we add the developing information. So that could be, that's fine. That's improved as well. Prioritize, it's picked up on that as well. And I'm just gonna keep that. Computer assisted as well. It needs a hyphen here, I think. Yeah, just add that. Oh, so that's fine. So you can see that it's picked up on quite a few similar mistakes as PaperPal, but it hasn't gone into that in-depth changing the sentences around. It has improved, so a few words here and there, but I feel like PaperPal gave us a lot more in terms of the corrections of the structure of the sentence, if something was redundant. So both are really good tools. I prefer using PaperPal. I think it just makes the writing flow a lot more. Now, the other thing I want to have a look at is to use the Copilot in terms of making something sound more academic. So in order to use this feature, I'm gonna select the sentence that I want to make more academic. And I've chosen this sentence because I've used the first person here. I've said, I first begin. And that's not really recommended in academic writing. You really shouldn't be using I. Um, so once I've selected it, it goes into this box. And um, now I'm going to generate the statement that sounds more academic. So what it's come back with is initiating with theoretical underpinnings of online learning. It must be noted that this mode of education has been variously referred to as e-learning, distributed learning. Okay, it doesn't sound right. So I, I'm gonna regenerate this. I'm not really happy with the output that it's come back with. Okay, and I think this is so much better. And considering the theoretical underpinnings of online learning, it is essential to recognize the various terms that are commonly associated with the mode of education, such as e-learning, distributed learning, interlearning, and so on. So this is so much better. So you can use the Make Academic feature, and most of the time it will sound good. But if you feel like it really doesn't work or it could sound better, you can always regenerate the output. So remember, PaperPal analyzes so many academic papers and it's built the AI around recognizing different ways of writing academic sentences. So this is so much better and I'm going to decide to keep that. Now one last thing that I want to mention on the PaperPal Copilot is that you can use the paraphrase. So I'm going to choose this sentence to paraphrase because I feel like it's quite difficult to read and could be um, written in a better way. So I'm going to go to the copilot and use the paraphrase and you find that it's already been inserted here and let's generate and see what it comes back with so if we look at my original sentence it says while there have been many definitions of online learning as instructional resources available from a computer an innovative method that uses the web to deliver instruction and the internet to enhance the interaction between students and teachers can cover both synchronous and synchronous interactions in online delivery and you can already tell that it's just a very difficult sentence to read. So let's see what it's come up with and it's accessible from a computer. So the first thing it's done is broken up this extremely long sentence, which I really like. And then it said, the canvas is the web to deliver instruction and kind of noted that the internet can enhance student-teacher interaction in both asynchronous and synchronous online delivery methods. So I think it's actually done a really good job. It's broken it down, it's made it easier to read, it's clarified, who said which definition? And this is honestly one of the best paraphrasing I've seen uh, from, from an AI tool. So there are many paraphrasing tools out there, but they don't always maintain the meaning. And this one's done a really good job. So we're definitely gonna replace that. So as you've seen, PaperPal has a number of excellent options and it can really help improve your 
academic paper, whether it's in terms of the language, correcting mistakes throughout, whether it's in terms of making it more academic, in terms of paraphrasing sentences whilst maintaining meaning. So I hope you found this video quite useful and I hope to see you in the next video.